Hello and a very warm welcome once again to the Oxenford Studios here on the Gold Coast where you join us for the penultimate session of boxing for both men and women. And we've got eight bouts coming your way in this session. We're at the final stage. Strictly gold medal bouts being contested today. We've got action coming to you from the women's light flyweight, women's light fly, women's light fly, women's fly, women's lightweight, men's light fly, 52 kilogram flyweight, 60 kilogram lightweight, light welterweight, and heavyweight action. Of the eight finals that are taking place in this session, home nation representation occurs in six of them. 23 boxers from the home nations assured themselves of a place on the medal podium. There is confirmation of the schedule. Busy morning of boxing and home nations representation occurs in the first five contests. Richard Woodall is alongside us, looking ahead to what promises to be a fantastic action of gold medal bouts. Fantastic slate of action in the gold medal bouts. Touch close. So we're underway then in the 48 kilogram light flyweight gold medal bout. It's between boxers from India and Northern Ireland. And the boxer wearing red 
is the legendary, iconic figure of Mary Com, 35 years of age, competing in her first ever Commonwealth Games, but she has medaled at every other major tournament that she has entered it into over the course of a glittering career, not just medaled, but more often than not finished on top spot on the podium. There's a good right jab. She's just fed to the boxer wearing blue, and that is Christina O'Hara, 22 years old, 2017 Northern Irish and Irish, all Irish national champion. Both boxers competing in their third contest here in this battle to determine top spot on the podium. They met one another last year in an exhibition in Dublin. And even though that won't go on the official record, it was Mary Com who prevailed in that exhibition encounter. O'Hara's had a fine tournament up to now, but she's going to be severely tested here against Com, who's very, very relaxed and seems to just take everything in her stride. So O'Hara here, fairly good start, has going to disrupt her rhythm. You watch the way this Indian boxer goes about business, she slows things down, very relaxed guard, she's a good counter puncher, she's not bad on the front foot also, but she has got a few faults here and there, that relaxed guard of hers, you know, makes her um, makes her open occasionally, so O'Hara's got to try and find the target, and that's not too bad, maybe just waiting for Comp to come in and to meet her head on, I think that could be a tactic that could work for O'Hara, but she's going to have to be prepared in this contest to do a bit of everything, Ronald, on the front foot, on the back foot, work at a fast tempo. Yeah, she's going to be tested here, O'Hara. Both of these nations heavily represented in the gold medal bouts taking place today. An equal number of six boxers, each for India and Northern Ireland. And this one of the new weight classes added for women in comparison to Glasgow four years ago when three women's weight classes were being contested. Right hand wasn't too far away from O'Hara. Mary Com attempting the old one-two. It's not a bad tactic from O'Hara, sitting back, and then that injection of pace as she, she comes forward to try and catch Com off guard. So she's actually waiting and trying to bring Com over the front foot. So Com's not having it all her own way, so it's not bad here from O'Hara. She's proving a bit elusive, a bit awkward. That, that's making things difficult for Com. Let's have a look at the action here. There's O'Hara just coming forward. Hands a little bit too low and just gets caught as she comes forward there. But Com is struggling to find the target, you see, Com, because O'Hara's sitting back and just draws Com's lead, but she doesn't land. So a fairly close round, that one. So into the second round then. Women's 48 kilogram light flyweight action. Mary Calm, the boxer wearing red. The five-time world championship gold medalist. Right hand attempted by O'Hara. It was tried to be or an attempted counter came back from Mary Calm, who then scores with a good right jab. Mary Com took medals at each of the first six world championships. World championships starting for women in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Way back in 2001, she came away with a silver medal there. But then after that, a run of five successive golds. Absolutely phenomenal record. She comes in as the reigning five-time Asian continental champion. Taking the most recent crown in Ho Chi Minh in Vietnam last summer. What's really important in a contest like this, Ronald, is if your opponent makes a mistake, you must punish the opponent. And that means not being too far out, where occasionally 
we've seen in this tournament when a boxer makes a mistake but is it, but he or her opponent is too far away to actually punish her so you've got to stay just within very very only a few inches of punching range if you like just drifting in and out trying to draw the lead of the opponent make a fall short and then you've got to punish her occasionally here O'Hara has just failed to do that come that's better from her on the front foot so O'Hara's tactics are good on the outside but she's got to um, take more advantage of when Com makes a mistake she must punish her and score it's so important against such a talented operator like Com. so he's come on to the front foot now fencing with the jab the attempted right hand lead wasn't too far away from O'Hara she then did get through with that shot at the second attempt bringing the right foot through O'Hara took her eighth all Irish national title last year that was at this poundage of 48 kilograms as Calm has more success on the front foot once again. But prior to that, she was actually competing up at 51 kilograms, but said that she was walking around at never more than 50. So she's taken the opportunity to drop down in weight. Good right hand landed by O'Hara. She said all that she's had to do in order to achieve this fighting weight is cut out sugar. The nutrition plan hasn't changed extensively. She feels strong and athletic at this weight. And she's demonstrated those qualities throughout her run to this point. Terrific bout against Lindsay Holdaway. The first at the quarterfinal stage. And then a 5-0 win. Unanimous points decision victory over Tasmin Benny at the semi-final stage. So two good displays as Com works her way to the body and finishes with a left hook upstairs. And a two-shot salvo just before the bell for the boxer in red. Well, as expected, there's not a lot in this one. Com, I thought, did well with a few of her attacks in that round, but towards the end of the round, then Hawara came back with a couple of good right hands herself. Just falls short there, does O'Hara, but so does Com on the counter. So not a lot in that round again at all. Two fairly close rounds, but you would expect it from this level of opposition. Good round for either boxer here. Could, could be enough. So to the third and final round then of a contest that has been a KG tactical affair between Mary Com, 2012 Olympic bronze medalist. I put 51 kilograms because remember, as a mouthpiece, I think has come out. Whatever it was, it's been removed by referee Frank Fiaco. Clearly not a mouthpiece, but Mary Com, as a lot of boxers were, placed in the invidious position as Com gets through with a good southpaw left of either having to go up or down in weight. Three weight classes were contested in London 2012, and Mary Com, for whom so much success has come at 46 and 48 kilograms, had to go all the way up to 51, which she lost at the semi final stage to Nicola Adams, but came away with an Olympic bronze medal in that historic tournament in London where women's boxing was a competitive sport for the first time on the Olympic program. O'Hara, I was just going to say, a clash of heads there, but O'Hara's going to try the right uppercut here, Ronald. Com occasionally comes rushing forward. Her guard isn't that good, but she does commit over that front foot, but that's when O'Hara has got to get her timing right. He just whipped the right uppercut through the middle. It'll hit either the, the, the torso or, or the head. That's what she's got to do here. Try and trigger the response of Com and then whip that right to book it through. So approaching the midpoint of the third and final round, John Conlon told Christina O'Hara that she has to put it on Mary Com in this third and final session. Who can impose their tactics? Who can impose their will? As we are deep into the final three minutes now. Both boxers continuing to faint, trying to draw that lead. Mary Calm short with the right jab, long with the left cross. Uh, the accuracy hasn't been good in this round for both boxers, though, Ron. The opponent is just 
proving awkward to hit for both of them. Not a lot in it at all. And somebody sees the initiative here. Really produced. Sustained moment of quality. Nice punch picking on the back foot from Com. O'Hara thought about coming forwards, but now the two boxes posturing once again. Counter left hand wasn't too far away from O'Hara, but it was probably blocked by Com. Beautiful left hand from the boxer in red. O'Hara just a little bit disorganized before the two boxers fall into a clinch. O'Hara trying to work away. So too is Com. 10 second clapper is imminent in this 48 kilogram light flyweight gold medal bout. And O'Hara driving Com backwards towards the ropes. A hard fought third and final round. O'Hara feels that she's done enough, but this one is going to the five scoring judges. Close round again. O'Hara, those raiding, darting attacks coming forward, trying to catch out Com, just trying to surprise her. It got scrappy. They were, both of them were a little bit inaccurate, but towards the end of the round, both found the target. Right at the end of the round there was Com, landed a left hand there. But also O'Hara, last 15, 20 seconds, started to step on the gas. It's close. Mary Com is beaming from ear to ear because the iconic Indian boxer has just claimed her first Commonwealth Games gold medal in this her Commonwealth Games debut. Delight up in the stands. Mary Com giving thanks. A unanimous points decision victor over Northern Ireland's Christina O'Hara. And the magnificent Mary Com adds another gold medal to her burgeoning collection across what has been a glittering career. She acknowledges the crowd here at the Oxenford Studios. Mary Com is the Commonwealth Games gold medalist in the 48 kilogram light flyweight division. You can see what it means to her. Jubilant scenes in the boxing ring. And we haven't seen a boxer get cheered out in this fashion on too many occasions. But now she's literally approaching 10 feet tall. Christina O'Hara deserves immense credit, the 22-year-old from Northern Ireland. She's had a brilliant tournament, winning two bouts out of three, demonstrating her immense talent to come away with Commonwealth Games silver. But it's Mary Com who takes the spoils and top spot on the podium. The five-time world champion, the five-time Asian continental champion and 2012 Olympic bronze medalist becomes the Commonwealth Games champion here at Gold Coast 2018. Well, there wasn't a lot in the contest, Ronald, but uh, Com has won it, and it means the world to her and her supporters. Very experienced girl indeed. And it means everything, doesn't it? In terms of the contest itself, fairly close. Not her best performance, but she did what she had to do to get the victory. But in this last round, there's O'Hara coming forward. Con just caught her there with a shot, but there's not a lot of clean shots actually landed. Both um, took, took turns really in sitting back and then coming forward. Come towards the end, landed a couple of good shots, but so did Hoara, so there's not a lot in the contest whatsoever. And Christina Hoara will learn from this most certainly. Still very young and will certainly come again. So I suppose the question now is will Mary Calm continue to punch or at 35 years of age will she hang up the boxing gloves and concentrate solely on her parliamentary duties in the Indian upper house.
ladies and gentlemen, the medal ceremony for women's 45 to 48 kilograms. The medals will be presented by life member of the Commonwealth Games Federation, Mr. Michael Hooper. Accompanied by Vice President of the International Lost Association, Mr. Ted Tanner. The winners of the bronze medal representing New Zealand, Tasman Benny. And Sri Lanka, Anusha Dilruchi Poritubaku. Tasmin Benny of New Zealand is just 19 years of age. Member of the New Zealand Navy. The first recipient of the Commonwealth Games bronze. Bronze is Anusha Koritubaku. 39 year old who was outpointed at the semi final stage by Mary Com. Losing the third encounter against her familiar rival. The bronze medalist from Sri Lanka and New Zealand in the women's 48 kilogram light flyweight division. The winner of the silver medal representing Northern Ireland, Christina O'Hara. Well, it's been a sensational tournament for Christina O'Hara, the 22 year old, old from Belfast who boxed magnificently in her three contests. Hard fought win over Lindsay Holdaway of Wales in what was a fantastic bout in the quarterfinal stage and then met Mary Com in the gold medal bout, outpointed, but she comes away with a wonderful silver medal in this her first Commonwealth Games. The gold medalist and the Commonwealth champion representing India, MC Mary Calm. Well, Mary Calm has medaled at every major tournament that she has entered. She was named as one of the, of the five inaugural Aiba boxing legends in 2016 in recognition of her glittering career for well over a decade and here she is in her first Commonwealth Games occupying the highest plinth on the podium as the 48 kilogram light flyweight gold medalist Mary Com is the champion ladies and gentlemen the anthem of India Mary Calm acknowledging the warm applause that she's receiving here at the Oxenford Studios. 35-year-old Member of Parliament is the Commonwealth Games gold medalist in the 48-kilogram light flyweight division. And she joins or invites her fellow medalists to join her on the top spot on the medal rostrum. Christina O'Hara, the silver, the silver medalist.
from Northern Ireland. And Anusha, Kodithuwaku of Sri Lanka, and Tasmin Benny. Four hardware winners in a hard-fought 48-kilogram light flyweight tournament.